chapter 5, lesson 5, is multiplying numbers. The goal of this chapter is to show the kids that multiplication can be in any order. Um, there are some visual aids that will cause some confusion to the kids. So I suggest that you just don't follow the visual aid. Okay, so um, the problems that we will be doing comes from page 103. Okay, so the problem says multiply 5 by 7. So if we follow that, multiply 5 by 7. Okay, that's the question. So here, it's easier to count by 5 than it is to count by 7. So when we count by 5 till 7 fingers, that will be 35. Now, on the other hand, it says multiply 7 by 5. Five. So multiply 7 by 5. Okay, so here we would want to count by 7, but that's harder and more stressful for the kids. So that's why multiplication is in any order. So it's best to just start counting by, seven, by 5 until we reach the 7 fingers. That again will give us 35. So the lesson here is whatever the kids are most comfortable with in terms of their multiplication tables, that's what we need to have them count. So five versus seven, five is easier and therefore the kids will be more confident with five. So we let them count with five. That concludes lesson five of chapter five. See you in the next lesson.